All right. So I don't know why this happened, but a couple nights ago, I had a dream about Diddy and Kim Porter. Now, I don't watch Diddy. I don't really care about what's going on with him. Uh, I, you know, I think it's going to be an R. Kelly situation. He'll go in for a minute, then he'll get out. Or they'll just take a bunch of his money. Anyway, so in the dream, I was talking to him and Kim Porter. There was a bunch of us around. But um, we were kind of at, at this kind of like small gathering. And Kim Porter had on this um, very a very sexy all-black outfit with like the bottom showing and like it was kind of like a see-through type of thing. So there was a sex undertone to it. And uh, he told her to like get up and go upstairs. And when she did, you know, you could see her legs, you could see her backside through the, you know, so there, it had a sexual undertone to it, which surprised me because I'm looking at her and I'm looking like, oh, why can I see through her, you know, whatever this is she had on. But what really caught me is that she looked out of it. She was kind of like, you know, almost. I'm like, now I've never met Kim Porter. I, I'm not from New York. I, 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 I'm not really following the story that well. But I know that she is a part of this whole thing. So it just, I, I don't know why I had this dream. But anyway, so, and then she looked back at him and he's looking at her. He's still sitting down talking to me, but he looked at her and at her and she's going up the stairs but you can tell she's not well at all she's like I don't know she's it's, it's not like she's high it's almost like she's in a daze or something like that I, I don't know but anyway so after that um, me and Diddy uh, we went to Another, I think we were like in a in a hotel. We were in a hotel lobby or something like that, but it was privatized. And then me and him went to his room where there were other people. And so we're like walking down the hallway and we're talking about music. You guys don't know. I do my little beats, you know, whatever. Uh, but we're talking about music. So I'm ecstatic. I'm talking to Diddy. I'm like, all right, cool. We're going to his room. We go in there. There's another guy in there, right? We sit down, we're still talking about music. And then the guy, he stands up and he just starts acting weird. Then another guy come in and these were like, they were short dudes. And another dude come in and he started acting, you know, a little funny, like he was getting ready to do something with the other dude. And I just stop and I turn around and I'm looking at him and, you know, the one dude is, like, dancing around, and he's, like, smiling. And the uh, the other dude is, like, looking at him, too. And I'm like, oh, this is a spirit. This this is this is a whole spirit. Like, this dude... And, and he looked like he was programmed to do it. And I'm like, oh, this is, this is part of what happens once you get into that atmosphere. You know, that spirit jumps on you and next thing you know, you're acting out of character. You're doing things that are completely just not you. Because I'm looking at him. He's jumping on stuff, jumping up and down on stuff. And I'm looking. I'm like, and then he's trying to come on to the other dude. Like, he's trying to introduce him into this whole thing. And then after that, I, I was like, yeah, I got to I gotta go because I'm, I'm not with the program. Now, a uh, long time ago, like in my upper 20s, I used to do some modeling. And there was, you know, a crew of us. We, you know, we was doing some modeling and uh, uh, we would go to the modeling shows. We would be in some of them and like, you know, some Jet Magazine chicks would, you know, come. They would have this big thing at one of the centers. We would go there, you know, like we were, we were just a part of the modeling circuit that is, you know, all over the United States and some outside of the United States. But, you know, one of the guys who would promote the modeling, uh, we were at this party and we were at his house. And um, uh, one, one day, you know, I'm like looking at all the beautiful women there. And I'm like, yeah, you know, because I like the ladies. I was like, yeah, bro. 
I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to get on one of these chicks, and I'm trying to pile it up with him. Like, yeah, bro, let's let's go get on some honeys. And I was like, man, I'm about to get one of these young ladies and about to talk to them, you know, blah, 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 and see if we can, you know, hang out, get her number and whatnot. And, you know, because they looking good. He's like, well, you know, you can like hang out with me. We can get down. And I was like, and I just stopped short. And I'm still looking this way and he's standing beside me. And I looked at him, I said, did you say what I just think you said? He said, yeah. And I was like, nah, bro, that's the last time I ever went to any of those parties. So don't think that this just happens at an upper level. It doesn't. It happens at every level of entertainment. I even know a young lady that it happened to. She's a singer. And she was like, I went to see one of these producers and he said, uh, you know, he was talking to him and everything was cool. And then he said, take off your clothes. So this happens at every level to men and women. And I, I, I'm just letting you guys know, if you're looking to get into the entertainment world, it, it is madness. And it's at every single level, whether you're at the bottom and you're not making a lot of money all the way till you get to the top and you're making a lot of money. That's the way these people are. It's a hyper-sexualized atmosphere. And even when I met some of the, you know, some of the women that came from out of state and the do this, the, the big modeling show that they had here, you know, they were looking at me like, yeah, let's get it on. And I was looking at them like, nah, like, 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 I don't even know your name. You know what I mean? But that's how they are. Once they get into that atmosphere, even the the finest woman, you're like, man, she's so fine. She wouldn't. No, they're going to come at you because they've already been taught like this is how it goes. Uh, and like, we don't waste any time. Come in, take your clothes off. Let's get it in. Then let's talk business. Uh, you know, whatever, what have you. There's not a lot of substance. There's not a lot of conversation. Uh, once they see that they can get you into that type of arena. And uh, if you don't just get up and get up out of there, you're going to be part of the program and um, it's going to be too late for you. So, yeah, I, um, I'm just telling you guys, I've seen this before in real life and then I just had this weird dream. So, uh, but that, that is, that's the way it is. I'm out.